hello guys welcome back to the zq tech youtube channel in this video i'm gonna tell you about uh, some common mistakes uh, done by the applicants while applying for this global youth date scholarship so watch this video till end so that you can uh, know about uh, what the common mistakes uh, usually candidates done and they did not get selected for the shortlisting for the interview so first of the uh, first of all start with the first mistake and that is uh, the leadership skill they uh, the applicants uh, usually uh, make this column wide because uh, they think that they have not done any leadership role in uh, their past in their school time or in their university time but if they focus then uh, maybe in their uh, lifespan in their school at their high school at their college or university they may have done some uh, leadership roles i can give you some examples like uh, uh, you be, you may be a captain of your team in your school or at college or you are you lead your team in the speeching speech competition or you monitor your class um, at your high school or you are monitoring your class as a CR at uh, university level so you have to add some of the leadership skill in that column so that they can identify that you uh, you have uh, some of the leadership skills and uh, you can uh, you can improve your leadership skills in the future so do not uh, uh, make this uh, column void because it has marks so fill this uh, column like i have give, uh, given you the examples so uh, like these examples you can add and also the second mistake now talk about the second mistake and that is uh, the candidates who have uh, in their college level who have in their college uh, level or university level have uh, studied a uh, subject related to the english like i'm i am as a mechanical engineer i have studied a subject communication skill in my first semester also a communication skill in my second semester that is a subject uh, basically a english related subject so uh, do not uh, make this column wide that you have not studied any English subject in your university or college or school level, you have to add that subject uh, in the uh, in the column that uh, you have studied the communication skill and uh, you have studied this in your first semester and uh, like this. I'm giving you my example, but you have to add your English uh, related subjects in the application form because do not make this uh, column wide also. Now another mistake and uh, that is related to uh, the application form after filling the application form uh, most of the candidates uh, do not take the snapshots of their columns and uh, their whole application form and when they applied they click on the submitted the application they do not find um, their application in their email or at the website of USCFP and after that they do not know what have what they have written in their application form so before submitting your application please mention uh, please uh, take a video of uh, this whole application form or take uh, the screenshot of this application form so that before the interview you watch your snapshots and your video of your application form and you will uh, you you will easily uh, understand that what you have written in your application form so you will prepare yourself according to your application form for example if you have written uh, in your application form as an extracurricular activity that you play badminton you play cricket but uh, at the time of uh, the interview then uh, if you do not have any snapshot of your application then you will easily forget that uh, you may not remember about your badminton but you say about your cricket only uh, that you play only cricket and uh, other uh, sports activities you do not like so that would be a big mistake so please take uh, the screenshot before applying for the scholarship this is the third one and the fourth one fourth one is about uh, your uh, like the personal statement and uh, uh, always add personal statement uh, that is related to your field I always write such personal statement that is uh, related to your field related to your motivation in your field and that field is university field in which uh, in which field you in the university you are studying for example if you are studying in biology if you're studying in 
the biochemistry then you have to write your personal statement related to the biochemistry or if you're studying mathematics then you have to relate uh, write your personal statement regarding regarding the mathematics okay you do not have to write a personal statement on the basis of their your fsc or your metric or your school so be alert in this case and uh, i have an experience of making the personal statement of a lot of candidates who get selected for the global you grade scholarship as a principal candidate so uh, i uh, request you and i uh, advise you uh, that the personal statement uh, must be based on uh, on the motivation of your field and also it includes uh, the problem statement problem statement includes like uh, if uh, uh, for example pakistan is facing uh, the water issues like uh, like the sindh province uh, like our sindh province uh, is facing the water issues so if you are a student of uh, the if you are student of a management or mba so you can add uh, in your uh, personal statement that pakistan is facing this type of problem in such areas so uh, after mentioning this you have to uh, write your uh, uh, solution to this problem that uh, by uh, researching on uh, the uh, by going to the us you will research on the highly advanced management system for the water distribution so in this way you will be able to cope this problem by coming back to the pakistan so um, you have uh, to be motivated in your personal statement and it's not a big deal and you i will make a separate video on the personal statement and uh, you can contact me uh, by commenting below this video so i will surely help you in this uh, case and uh, so so after applying for the scholarship uh, then the there is a gap of four months there will be a gap of four months and after more four months you will get a, an email from the uscfp that you will be short shortlisted for the interview and they will send you some forms you have to fill your forms before uh, the interview and uh, then you have to be you have appeared in the interview so uh, before ending the video uh, i will uh, try to tell you that there is a four gap uh, four month gap Uh, after applying for this scholarship so in within this four months you have to decide your community service community service is like uh, you are playing role in motivating the people uh, to get vaccinated of the corona virus and uh, like and uh, if you are helping the neighborhood uh, persons by distributing the food this is your community service and uh, this can be your community service and uh, you are helping the poor families uh, in, in marrying their children so you are supporting them with the money with the with the by giving them the stuff the necessity for the marriages so uh, this these are the examples of some examples of community service so there are a lot of examples of community service so within this four month gaps or three month gaps you have to decide and uh, work on your community service so that Uh, you can add your community service uh, before uh, uh, being in the interview for the global you grade scholarship because before the interview they will ask you for your community service through a form uh, that is about uh, the us relatives form i think this type of form in the, in that form there is a, a column mentioned there are uh, there is a column mentioned related to the community service so that is all about the community service hope that you will uh, like my video and if you have any query you can comment below Uh, thanks a lot and thanks for watching